Hello everyone, this is Manoj. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will work on our existing e-commerce web application and we will work on the admin part. So far, we have created a front end which is like this. And in this video, we will work on the back end. You can see this is the HTML part of our admin panel and we'll try to make the same in our web API project. So this is our existing web API application and you can see this is the default folder structure and we have created our own some amendments in this project. So now let's go to the admin part. So this is the admin panel HTML template. So if I go to the index file which is like this first let's copy all these folders and go back to Visual Studio in the content let's create a folder admin and paste all the folders inside this so this is our first step now if I go to controller so as of now we are having two controllers one is home another one is values so let's create another controller admin and for this admin let's create a default view index all right let's save this so now if i go back to our html page so first we need to create a layout as we already created for the home page you can see this is the layout which we are using for our home not this one yeah that one so now in the shared let's create a copy of this and rename it underscore layout admin all right so now go back to the HTML folder and let me open this index in the Visual Studio I'll show you why am I opening this if I press control KD so you can see the all the lines are get aligned right so I now I can collapse whatever sections so this makes so easy to copy paste all right so now if I open the main div first go to the head part and let me copy everything in the head section now go to the layout admin and replace the head content again go back to index.html now we need to copy this class first and on the body we need to paste this and now let me close one by one okay so we are having four devs all right first let's create the main dev let me delete everything which is coming from the existing layout so this one and let's close now let's copy this paste it here and this is the main we will not copy this and paste it after here perfect so we are ready with our admin now another important task is you can see uh, this bootstrap.css is getting reference from the CSS folder but we have created all the folders inside content 
and inside admin so we need to get a reference from this folder itself so as you can see the path should be content admin CSS and bootstrap.css so we need to change all the files for styles as well as the JS so let's copy paste also for the JS files perfect fine now go to index.html not index index.css.html because this is our index view of our admin so let's delete the existing part and from the index.html now we need to copy the main section part which is this one copy this and paste inside index.cshtml let's save this and now we need to check if it is having any kind of image or any references yeah so as we did for our CSS files same we need to do for images also let's change all the images perfect images content images replace perfect and now same way we need to change this images with this and now we need to check if we need to change any other path otherwise we are good let's save this and at the top we need to give a reference of our layout file so the layout is let's go to our shared folder views shared layout admin let's check okay so this is the exact path let me copy this and paste it over here I think I copied some control X save this now if I run the application and see what is coming if we redirect to our admin and the index view so yeah so you can see we have created our default admin page okay some images are not coming because we have we didn't change the path that's why so as of now I'm going to delete all this because we don't need this one because this is just for your reference so if you want you can include whatever you want in your dashboard page so I'm only going to have one two this is randomized weekly sales I'm going to delete these sections Let's delete these all save this Let's refresh the browser yeah so we will use this as our dashboard perfect so now we will work on our login page so this is our login let me also open the sign up
so this is a login page and this is a sign up page so now we will create both these pages and then we will try to make a DB connection just to login and register as a user first we'll create this login page so for that go to HTML folder and open this login.js inside Visual Studio let me close this index.html and let me also close this one let's stop the solution first and go to admin controller and let's create let me copy this call it login also okay let's add a view for this add perfect so now we need to go to a solution explorer so if I go back to browser oh, I have closed that let me again open it we don't need this left menu the upper menu and the user settings so we'll only use this login this form so for that we need to again go to Visual Studio and we need to create a separate layout for this so let me copy this admin layout because this is related to this one only let's paste this and let's rename this so layout admin let's say login so now from this page if I come to body part so this is our first div the upper one and this is the left one this one and this is search box also we don't need this search one this is user settings okay so now if I come to login dot HTML and if I press control KD so let me collapse had been had and first div had a main content and the footer so from the login I'm going to delete all the divs a part of this render body save this and now from the login.html I'm only going to copy the main content and inside the login let's delete this h2 heading and paste it here and again we need to give the layout for this layout would be let's save this and we don't need this form because we will use ajax calls for this let's save this and now if I run the application and if I navigate to base URL and then admin and then login so this is our login page so same way we need to create a register page so again let's close the application and let's copy this paste and change it to register perfect let's add a view for this register let's remove this one and from the HTML folder open the sign up page in Visual Studio and go to the main oops go to the main section this is let's copy this and in the register let's paste this save it and we need to change the layout
and now let's run the application let me also delete the form first because we are not going to use this form but we'll use the ajax calls perfect so our sign up page is ready so now let me close this so we need to work on this login or register so first let me create some IDs for this so let's say for email let me give a naming txt email also for the password let's say txt password we will use camel casing for the naming convention save this and for the register for first name the ID should be txt first name and for last name txt last name for email txt email and these are radio buttons for gender so for mail it should be rbtn mail capital M and for female it should be id rbtn female and finally we are having txt password and for confirm password it should be txt confirm confirm password and if I open the login and if I open the default page so we can see this is our sign up page this is our login page and this is our dashboard page so for this video we have created some pages and we will use these pages as a login as a sign up and as a dashboard and then in the next part we will work on the database connection how we can register as a user how we can log in and then we'll create some other forms just to create a product and how to insert the details and how to edit existing product how to delete a product and then how to display all the product in the front end if I open the base URL not this one so this is our base URL if I open this new tab so these products will come from the database itself as of now these are static products if I navigate to products page so all our products are coming as a static one but once we created all the DB connection settings and all the pages for making these product dynamic then these will come as a dynamic from a API all right so this is about today's video I hope you liked the video if you did so hit the like button share comment and if you want to talk to me then we can connect on the Instagram my Instagram account is open programmer you can also find this in my channel description so I'll see you in the next part take care thanks for watching